been out for such a long time. I went to that. Right. I went to that um, christening, didn't I? Yeah, you also picked it up from there, mustn't you? On Sunday, <laughs> Monday, Tuesday, I was talking to you. Lot, I was all right. Mm. Wednesday, I thought, oh dear. That feels Thursday, so good. I, I went to bed. Oh. But I didn't get up much on Thursday or Friday. Gosh, not like you, is it? <laughs> no, I, I like I said. I still managed to go. Um, I still managed to um, pop down in the garden, sort of half ten at night with my slugging kit. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> you still got. Oh dear! There's many of us here this morning. Is there? No, I might. It's probably just me and you, unless Joyce oh. comes. Oh. Which is all right. Yeah. I don't mind. Looks, yeah. Well, if you want to leave it for another week, don't worry. No, I'll do it anyway. I'll get, get more. What? Oh, you got <laughs> looks looks hard this week, the drawing. No, once I start once I start yeah. Once I start painting, yeah. I've got to finish it. And yeah. It, anyway, part of my autism in it it's got to be can't go left and right it's all oh, right okay change it i'll throw a wobbler all oh, right oh dear no, i be, don't want that be, no. oh it's choice yeah it's choice I'll be running around all day <laughs> worrying about something's daft oh dear I, i'm really funny about that i'm really as i'm worse now than i was before Oh, really? Oh, God. I think now I'm older, I can understand why yeah, I react yeah. to things the way you I did do. years oh, ago. Right. You didn't yeah. understand what was happening. Why I did things, yeah. I, I still mm. feel things like I'd, I'd say, that's it, I resign. Oh, I know I'd oh. give up my job over God. certain things. Something... You know, something would get in my head, yeah. I'd focus, I'd see it, and it was even... It's either right, left, or wrong, right or wrong, sort of thing. And oh, gosh. I straight down to it. No, I'm not having that. Oh. I was thinking about it the other day. I thought, cool, oh, I don't know. It's just been about, well, I was headhunted from Western Supermare up to a firm in Romsey that I was, and I was there for about, I don't know, a year, might be an 18 months, I don't know. And uh, mm. I was supposed to be, I was cost accountancy and I was like looking at stuff and I went into um, records where they had all like shelves of all previous yeah. job, job, job um, doc, works dockets and that, they used to have a docket with all the bits in. Yeah, uh, yeah. I would look at, I was looking at the costings relevant to the job and all the rest of it and I thought this and I I thought this ain't right <laughs> it, it, it is like it's bordering on fraud you know it's, it was um, oh. getting work and saying they made a profit when they hadn't oh, you know the, the figures on the front of the thing didn't equate to them work and the stuff that had, materials and everything that had gone inside and oh, so uh, <laughs> what well, that was it i can't cope with that <laughs> no. no because it was part of my dna at the time that mm. anyone that knows about cost accountancy it, 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 there's a what do you call it an action and a, a cause and a result you know you buy yeah. some material you convert it into a product you sell mm -hmm. the product and either you make a profit or you don't. Or you don't, yeah. Pay the way, you know, everything's broken down into down. The, um, even the amount of ink you put on a piece of paper. Paper. Has to be calculated, yeah. you know. And um, yeah. when you came to, when I looked at it, and it once or twice, you could understand, you know, you could say, okay, there's... Yeah, a, but it's happening all the time. Or they've done it to get the order or whatever but there was no it was the whole thing and i thought no 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 so i i 
I wrote a les- res- 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 resurrection letter. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. How are you, Joyce? All right. Oh, jogging along, thank you. How are you? Yeah, fine. Yeah, Good. doing the same. Rolling. Huh? along. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Rolling yeah. along the highway. I know. Doesn't get any yeah. easier, does it? <laughs> I think Anne Gordon and Chrissy are out glamping, aren't they? If you're listening, yeah, have fun yeah. Oh. Free. <laughs> well, they'll be no listening, will they? No, that's back next week. Pauline said to go out early. She might pop in, she might not. And Christy? Right. Well, she's away, isn't she? She's glamping. <laughs> <laughs> well, it it looks like it'll be down to you, Carol, because I won't be able yeah. to stay with well, and I, I'm also expecting. We a phone said that call. earlier, but oh, regardless, God. I I'll keep going. Oh I've well, got yeah. I'll, oh I'll yeah. Get the video done anyway. That'd be lovely. It's one and of my. I'll, I'll just carry on burbling away to myself like a normal. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh. It's one of our favourite places, Fountains Abbey. Where is it? I've never heard of it's it. It's in Yorkshire. Um, oh right, that's right. Oh right, yeah, way way up there. <laughs> I just saw a picture of it and uh, thought, oh no, it's more often than not. I paint. Mm. I I choose the subjects based on <laughs> an er, er, um, difficulty and <laughs> mm. and uh, content as much as any. Well, it has to attract your eye, doesn't it? You think, mm. oh, that's good. Yeah. Mm. Um, you know, I was saying my daughter was on that walk. She finished it yesterday, oh. and her friends met her, and they went, um, it's the camp, oh, I can't say it properly. She walked from, um, she landed in France and went over the Pyrenees and walked the northern bit of Spain, the top bit that goes mm. on to Portugal. So I said, how many miles have you walked? So I don't know, about 700 and Oh, something. my goodness. In 28 days, anyway, oh. the end because it's like a pilgrim's walk. I mean, she didn't do it for that, but you end up in all these towns with these lovely churches. Anyway, is it Sant- Santiago? She ended mm. up Cam- Camio de, or Ca- oh, I can't pronounce it right. Anyway, they went to the mass there in the big church. Gosh, I you know that thing they they with all the incense, yeah. the incense. Yeah, yeah, God, it went. They, they got it swinging. There's all these people on it swinging, and it went <laughs> right up to the ceiling and went oh back goodness. again. Yeah, it was quite <laughs> all this stuff coming out of it. Yeah, mm-hmm. it was really good. Sure, it was had lots of space. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because I thought at first you just saw it going like this. <laughs> and then oh, there's a way they pull it, and then as I say, you see it, it goes right out, really swings, yeah. Oh. So mm. yeah, so it should That's be quite home an achievement. Today. Yeah, That's yeah. Fabulous. So um, she looks well. They sent a little video when she got there. Yeah, so I think it's been an experience for her. I mean, most of it she's done on her own, but yeah, it's good. And did she have a heat wave? Because I know the temperatures in Spain were no, really high she's, at one point. No, because she's like, I think she's up, like, I think up in the mountains a bit oh, right. because yeah. they've had rain and mist. It's very green up there. Yeah. I mean, she has had some nice weather, but I don't mm-hmm. think it's been like when it's down lower. Mm-hmm. I think mm-hmm. today, part of the trip, they've got, um, they're taking them down to, down to the sea so I don't know how far that is I don't know mm. so yeah mm. lovely lucky her then she's got yes. on holiday in July oh wow <laughs> then August <laughs> well then say she's... no more <laughs> oh, dear. no that's oh. great no it's, it's good that people can get away that's wonderful oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. wow that's nice Yes, there's some good ones came Gosh, in. Gosh, that's week. fabulous. Yeah, I got even, even the plate looks smart. Yeah. Oh, well, I got in a bit of a that's mess Carol. with that. Oh. Yeah. No, that's lovely. Because well, I did all it, I did all that with um, a pastel and then sort of wetted it. <laughs> and then the, yeah. I, thought, I thought, oh, God, it's gone a bit dark. Yeah, I enjoyed doing that. It's just, 
quite easy, wasn't it? Not a hard one. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I'm only halfway through, and <laughs> it's quite challenging. <laughs> oh wow! Well. Oh, that's nice. Well, that's nice. That's Gordon. Is that your? Who's is that? that? Gordon. See, that oh, that's good. good. I think he did that a while back, and oh. I'm not sure. Yeah. If... Oh, hang on, I've got to go to Peter. Hang on, you carry on. I think he's going to do a, some extra work on it. Oh. He spotted something when I was playing with him. So, uh, yeah, right. Something like okay. that. Okay, okay. So, yeah. I waited an anticipated doodah. Wow, that was, that's another fabulous one. Yeah. I like that, it. But, is that Pauline? That's Pauline, yeah. Mm, that's brilliant. Yeah. Darken it up a bit, but no, it's okay. Mm. Yeah, I, I'm every week the um, the quality gets quite good, doesn't it? They're all great. Yeah, all proper artists now. <laughs> I think we should have an exhibition, Dave. Yeah, possibly. Have you um? Did you do one of these? I've halfway through. Haven't finished. Oh yeah. I was going to say I wouldn't. I only mentioned it. I'm not in case I'd um, not had not received it. Sometimes no, I don't get them, or something that happens, doesn't it? Mm. Yeah, <laughs> so, no, it's not. Uh, it's not wigging its way to you yet for a while. I, uh, well, I've got I've got half of it done. I can show you what I've done. It's not. It's not a. It's not oh a no, I, haven't, I can't. So I can't show you because. Uh, it's it's somewhere else. <laughs> oh, you see my my new iPad follows me. It doesn't sort of stay static. <laughs> yeah, that's weird, isn't it? Yeah. Like, oh, I wonder if I can. I wonder if I can change that. <laughs> it's a bit like being in a gallery and a portrait, and the eyes follow you. Even yeah. Though they do, how do they yeah. do that? I was oh. thinking, whoa! Look. <laughs> oh no, that's a bit scary. <laughs> Disconcerting, I think. Oh dear. Had a bit of a, a an aborted attempt at seeing the uh, exhibition at Christchurch. We were down uh, near Christchurch last week, and uh, Brian was happy to come along and have a look at the exhibition at the Red House. It's not Kenards, yeah, is it? it no, it, it was part of the Dorset Arts Week. Oh, yeah, right. And uh, can I just say that nowhere in the brochure or right side did it say that the exhibition was not available at that particular point. Uh, got inside. Um, oh, have you come for the um, the museum or the talk? Well, no, actually, we've come for the art exhibition. Ah, oh, ah, oh, the room's being used. We're having a talk for an hour and a half. Oh, hmm. right. Fine. Okay. Around you. <laughs> so, uh, and oh, what's the talk on? Because thinking it might be art. Uh, Coast, Coast Garden. So, Coast, Card, Coast Garden wasn't doing it. And Brian said, Shall we go and have a coffee? Isn't there a place, you know, coffee shop at the Priory? I said, Yes. So, we made our way to the Priory. And uh, it, the, the coffee shop was uh, totally closed for refurbishment. So, at that point, we decided that we wouldn't be hanging around for an hour and a half until they finished their Coast Guard in exhibition. So we went to Redcliffe and had a coffee over there. So that was a bit disappointing. And I didn't manage to get to see Margaret Hasted on Saturday as planned because uh, things change with our 90 year old. And um, it was all a little bit disappointing. I, I, got a bit, I got a little bit excited because she posted on Facebook she uh -huh. sold this picture and I thought I nearly I was tempted to say to her wasn't her name wasn't Joyce was it <laughs> <laughs> mm. oh dear I have had you don't need her. to you paint paint them anyway so well, I don't know she's got some lovely stuff I looked at her website mm. did I say that um the the Bournemouth Arts um exhibition at Moordown was was pretty fantastic and one of the things that intrigued me, because I've, I've never seen it done before, was watercolour on um, glue and gesso. Oh. And it was, um, <coughs> so it, it, was, it, it was textured by the time, you know, that all had gone on it. 
and mm. um, the the subject matter for those who'd used that was uh, mostly floral but it was fabulous it looked wonderful and I oh. thought oh I wonder how you wonder how you do that is it I mean do you put the gesso and the glue on together do you mix them do you <laughs> whatever and there was nobody what's there what, to ask. Yeah, what's gesso? Never heard of that. What's that? It's it's like a sort of plaster, isn't it, Dave? Yeah, it's primer. They use it. For a primer, primer, yeah. Mm. All right, okay. Yeah. What just it's, ordinary glue out of a tube, you mean? Well, they they'd used ordinary glue, but they'd also used this gesso stuff. I've used gesso what? before, but it was usually in connection with um, acrylic you know, yeah. to put over a canvas, you know. Oh, it comes but, in various um, thicknesses as well. Mm, yeah, it's a bit like stuff you you grow tiles with. A one, yeah. Oh, perhaps we could yeah. use that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I don't know. Gesso is, is Italian for plaster, isn't it? I think. Oh, oh right. okay. yeah, that's what it, that's what it looks like. And yeah, plaster like. of Paris. Yeah. That's what we use. What do they do? Paint it on? Do they? You oh, we don't know. Well, I don't know, but with the gesso, you tend to spread it on your your canvas or your board first. Oh. And if I've I've been to a workshop with um, Lindsay Cole, and that was an acrylic workshop, and mm. we used the gesso. We were doing like a forest floor and, mm. and trees, so we mm. actually used the gesso to give texture for the floor, and also for the barks of the trees, and then we painted so on top. But you have oh, to let sounds... it dry overnight. Oh, wow. Sounds fun. <laughs> it was. It was fun. It was good. And mm. uh, the results were, were um, nice, you know, but I've not yeah. used it since. <laughs> oh, no. You go to try these things and you think, oh, why did I bother? <laughs> You've got to know how to do it, haven't you? I think, you know, <clears throat> at the time it's good, but then afterwards you think, oh, right, now, oh. what do I do with that? <laughs> and whatnot. That's I think sick. actually Lindsay uses it quite a lot in her work. Oh. She's based at Ringwood, and uh, I think she's also part of Bournemouth Bay Artists as well. Oh, wow. Mm, yeah. I've got oh. enough. Like I said the other week, I've got rid of all my acrylics. Oh. oh. It was a big box oh. I sent to Chrissy. Um, all the acrylic camp. We sold all the canvases last year, I think it was, oh. to mm. another artist. Loads of stuff like that, because I just decided that hang on i've got enough hassle doing the thing that i like to, you know that i'm supposedly mm. spending enough time and energy doing i might as well focus on that it's all right if you're 18 mm. and you're trying to discover a different you know way of doing things to set you up and all the rest of it but i can't mouse i've got enough hassle mastering the watercolors without <laughs> going <laughs> off with things Oh, I've got the. Mm. I still the only thing I've I have kept the um the the aqua oils. And oh, I, I was thinking about those. Yes. I keep kicking mm. myself to get on with that. Um, but mm. Mm, it's time, isn't it? It's almost mm -hmm. that time. Yesterday, I went out in the garden to do just a minor thing and ended up digging a flipping branch where there was a plant growing by the side of the shed and I thought oh, I'll tidy that up while I'm here just thought I'd pull it out it wasn't a plant well it was but it was a root from a tree True. over the road oh, over God. the fence that had grown oh, underneath mm. and somehow a plant had grown out of it. I've never seen that before. Oh, not a root, not a, uh, I know they give out roots right under the lawns and that to find, water. you know, water. Well, I've never known one start sprouting a plant. Oh, wow, well, there you are. That's, <laughs> that's, that's serious invasion. Yeah. <laughs> so that took an, that the afternoon to sort of disappeared because I had to dig the thing up and it was deeper and deeper. Filled oh, the wheelbarrow gosh. up with earth, and then, <laughs> then I decided, oh, well, what can I, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll take the rose bush that isn't growing very well over there and put that there. Oh, God. That'd be good fun. And then I membrane and graveled it and put... Oh, oh my goodness, mate. It was only Sounds a like start. hard work. <laughs> well, the trouble is, these days, now, this age, 
I sort of target plan it. I sort of I do mm. do so much, stop, go and cool down, <laughs> chill out, and then come back later. You know. Oh, I know. Right, look out. I'm gonna right. carry, I'm gonna crack on and do this picture. Yeah. The sky looks wonderful. Did you do anything to the sky? Because when it printed out, it looked like it was digital. Yeah, I'm not. I I I don't. Yeah, it's got a pinky colour to it. It's is that, gorgeous. Yes, it's pink and peach, and it looks like sections. You know. Could be my could be my printer. Mm. Never know. It's really nice because it, it's sort of graduation, you know, right from the top, right down from from blue it to grey. It's creamy, just that it's not print. This one, it, it just oh. hasn't printed properly, but it has got oh, a little bit. It's of fabulous in. sky, yeah. And the tree looks a bit mauvey, doesn't it? Yeah, it's something. I, I think it was my yellow cartridge was running out, so mm. I am. Um, well, I think I'll go with your yellow cartridge. I think I might try with <laughs> I'm going to try with these glasses. Mm -hmm. Give it a go. Mm -hmm. Don't use the off. Ooh, so when you change your glasses, I'm going to try with my reading glasses to see what happens. <laughs> I did have a plan of campaign which involved... Mix. Oh, I thought about it earlier. I've got some colours. I just wanted to create a, a neutral thing, a tone. Because I'm going to concentrate. I'm going to start. Which is just that, Joyce, is um, Terry's Shadow. Oh, my, one of my favourite paints. I just added is. a little bit of light blue to it. Oh, I've got some yeah, of that. A lighter mm. tone. That's a pretty blue. What's that? Um, it's cobalt turquoise. Oh, that, oh it looks different That's to the one Saint I've Petersburg. got. That's St. Petersburg. All right. Uh, That's the one that I use for... Everything. <laughs> Um, well, I must admit, the way I'm painting these days, everything's been sort of, what's the word, the same, the same rhythm that I use on the portraits. I've got a plan, and all I'm trying, what my plan, my idea was, was to look at the photo and try it and try and pick out some dark areas sort of the ones that are in shadow first and take it from there let that dry i might even use the hair dryer wonder how fast you could paint this picture no don't go there dave <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear. One thing I did notice looking at the when I zoomed in was the the um these sort of tower things, they were like bricks, big blocks of stone. So mm. my, I've mm. sort of drawn them as little individual squares. So that might be a that window's dark, isn't it? And there's a dark spot. That's not. Mm. It's, there's a method in my madness, as usual. Mm -hmm. Might help if I, I. I've got a different picture as well. This one I paint. I printed it out much lighter. It was funny because I liked. I could see more in more detail in this image, than the other one. I like the overall tone in the colour one, in this one. I love the way that mm. is. But to see what the heck I was drawing, I was using this one. 
So <laughs> then I thought, oh, well, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll draw this one to the, to the theme of this one. <laughs> Oh God! <laughs> so I've got the bushes and that sort of. Mm, well, you can. That's what makes us makes it interesting. You can make it up as mm. you. Well, just change. Go along. It's well. If you were stood at a certain place at a certain angle, you would get that. I don't know if you were. You draw it differently, you present it totally wrong the other way. Now, the only reason I'm doing this, because when it's, it's dried off, I'm going to make it all wet and do that sort of thing to it. Oh, but, I, nice but I wanted thing. the, which is our standard, um, well, We'll see in a minute, but the <laughs> but I, what I wanted to, to what I'm trying to achieve is to put in a few extra darky bits at the beginning so that it stays that extra the extra darkness. The problem I I found with the sketch, and I think. I'm going to struggle with that regardless. I was looking at it yesterday thinking, mm, like you do. Mm. <laughs> you have that sort of, mm, mm. And so much. And that was that this area here protrudes outwards. And I, I thought I'm going to, I just in, instinctively knew I was going to struggle to, do, to achieve that fit, that. Mm. Yeah. because there's a another arch here that pop, that comes out towards us so I think I'll be struggling with that well oh dear I don't if you're think... going to struggle what are we going to do <laughs> <laughs> no it was just that that part of that getting that um, that element I'm doing it really quick. Ish. It's nice like that, isn't it? <laughs> I'm just looking at the. See, there's even an arch inside that building. Mm. Well, I'm. I'm not getting too. And the reason I'm going quite quickly is because. I instinctively, you know, as soon as you put some some water on it in a minute, everything's going to go. Um, everything's going to start flowing. But then my idea is that even though it does, I'll still be able to see the dark, shadowy bits that will enhance. That are going to be there when I put the the, the bare washes on. So I'm, I think if this was a a normal day painting, then I would um, bear with me. I would sort of do do this this stage, get to a certain certain point, and then stop, go away. Let it all dry off and then come back. Uh, by the way, this is the, uh, I think it's um, Weepy Willow thing. So I just thought I'd put in some branches quick. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's in the rigor. I have put a couple of pencil lines, but I don't know where they are. If this does, it's the same theory, uh, thought process, that when I put the, the main wash on, this should hopefully still retain itself. 
some of the branches. Let's tidy them up later. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Of course, when you paint like this, you've got to think um, a little step ahead in that we haven't painted the sky yet. So any color stain that you use is going to have to be reflect the sky in some shape or form because it's going to affect it. Just looking at this area here, there's these dark straight lines that go across. Uh, you know when you've finished because you've run out of paint. Well, the mix starts disappearing, doesn't it? Yeah. Something in there. I'm going to put it there regardless. That's a window there at the top, believe it or not. Or was it that one? Yeah, they both are. Put a few darks in here. Ah, didn't work. I'm always doing that. Hit my brush on the edge so it forms that very fine chisel. That day. Da, da, da. What was the next? I had it all planned in my mind's eye. I had a little um, routine. Pauline, I hope she's tricked me, little madam. Hi. She said, Hi, What's she done? <laughs> she said, Apologize that she couldn't be here. But, oh, on. The plus thing, I bought one of those brushes from the link that you sent me, which is the squirrely thing. He said, mm. when she, then she said, well, when it came, I had to un, un, to get all that, get that plastic off, I had to take all these wire things off. Huh? <gasps> oh. I hope she was winding me up. Because oh, no. they're the other things that oh, keep no. the brush together, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, no. I'm sure she was doing that. <laughs> She was teasing me. Yeah, must have done. Oh, I haven't sent for mine yet. I haven't got round to it. <laughs> Just clean water on the brush for a minute. Because it's confusing me. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to um, mm -hmm. so I'm thinking because in my palette I've got some yellowy color I just wanted to make sure that I've got a creamy yellow background, whatever happens. Talk about painting in reverse. Yeah. Gotta watch it, so there's a one here on there. And, which is why that sort of viridian green is quite handy. Because it does come out quite bright, but on top of the yellow, it should give us a nice just blocking in really set the scene. That's hardly got any on it there. Yeah. Anything? You got any lemon yellow? Mm. Incorporate that. I don't think I've got any. That'll work really well. Drop in a bit of the green. Mm -hmm. Not worried about the shadows for a minute. But I do notice. <gasps> See what I mean by that viridian? <clears throat> <Yeah. See? laughs> That's a viridian green. Dip it in there and it's like, oh. Where the heck did that come from? You have to tone it down, you know, or up. 
up with a bit of blue. That makes it more earthy. And down with a smidgen of yellow. All of a sudden, you get a totally different green, don't you? Mm. While it's damp, I'll put some in there. Just for fun. Just looking. So I mean, you have to sort of almost paint ahead of yourself. Luckily, it fades back a, a little. I hope it will. A little bit. Yeah. Right, that's cool enough. I think what I might do, well, not might, what I'm going to do is uh, stick a bit of sky in, Joyce. Okay. Got a bit of brush here somewhere. I was quite taken with this, um, what's he call this one, Terry? Golden leaf brush. Mm. For um, making it all nice and wet. I used it last week and I thought, oh, do you know what? That did a really good job. But I'm using... Um, Two Rivers Meet. It's supposed to be a knot finish. I feel a bit rougher than not there. It looks quite rough from here. It's really thick. Mm. Oh. So it doesn't actually need um, stretching. You could use it. It's that thick. Oh. One of the higher one, the higher weights they use. That... Um, I just use it like a piece of cardboard. It's <laughs> <laughs> so what do you reckon on the sky then? What colour wise? A little bit of Well Carol's expert on the sky. Carol, oh, no, no. <laughs> a little bit of raw sienna perhaps. Mm. There's that lovely pinky peachy mm. colour. Like mm. sort of port portrait. Can you alter this so that we don't keep coming up when we talk, Dave? Can I do what? Well, when we talk, you disappear and our photos come up of us, so we're missing what you're doing. <laughs> does it come up when I speak, Joyce? It does. Yes. I've got a picture of you now. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> When you, yeah, but the big image still stays the same. Yeah. No, it, it goes off completely. No. Mm. Yeah, it's gone again now. Mm -hmm. We're talking. That's because on your thing at the top, you've got one called View. And you, uh, you're either on gallery or not, but you should be on um, speaker. Yes, I am on speaker, but it's going to whoever's speaking. Yeah. What happens? <clears throat> I'm, not what, I'm not sure what you... What you, you, um, you usually pin it so that it, it's constantly on your, um, on your screen. Hang on. But at the moment, we're sort of leaping to each other every time we speak. There you go. Okay. Right. Well, that's better. That, that's great. Thank you. Yeah, lovely. Well, it's good. Glad you mentioned it because it would have spoiled the video, probably. Oh, yeah. <laughs> my, um, my raw sienna has got a green tinge to it. So mm. I'm going by. Oh. I've got um don't think that's quite the colour, Joyce. The pink no, no. the peachy colour. <clears throat> Probably wants a bit of shadow, do you? That sort of purple um, colour. 
Oh. It's like a rose sort of at the bottom. Yeah, I think I've I've missed the boat on that now. <laughs> Never mind. And that pale blue at the top. Yeah. Well, I've got the blue, haven't I? Well, I, think oh, I, have. I have. That's um, turquoise blue. Mm. Oh, man. Oh. I'll use the side of the palette. Oh, th and it's, um, it's a lovely colour. Turquoise. Cobalt turquoise, isn't it? That's it. Mm, lovely. Oh. Most of the turquoise I have um, is very dark. Um, want it to be faint anyway. It's just a hint of sky, isn't it? There's no mm. set. Let's have a. I think I'll have to buy myself another printer because I just have to do it off the phone all the time. It's not another so printer? Good. Yeah, because I can't print my pictures now. I just do it off the mm. phone. Which isn't quite mm. good. <clears throat> they don't last though, do they, these printers? I don't know which is the best one to buy. Yeah, they seem to have a sort of mm. built in obsolescence, don't they? Mm. I bought um, a reconditioned one All because right. um, I like HP and uh, I can't remember why. I had to get another one, but um, I bought it from a company that was advertising, I think, on Amazon. Mm. And um, it's, it's been all right. Fantastic. And I also oh. signed up for the HP um, Smart Ink, where you pay so much every month for your cartridges. Right. So uh -huh. I, I pay a fantastic £3.49. Oh. And that, that gives me 100 pages. And the the printer, which is has its own email address, orders its own cartridges when it needs. Them. Oh my goodness, that sounds good. So <laughs> I've been very happy with I've been very happy with it. I do like HP, and it also takes photo paper. So I have a compartment that I can print um, out on photo paper as well. Oh, lovely! So oh. H HP, I've never HP. heard of HP. Oh, Hew Hewlett Packard. Oh. <laughs> And uh, I, I would recommend Hewlett Packard. So there we go. Lack, what was it? Pack, say it again. Uh, Hewlett, H E W L E T T, and then Packard, yeah. P A C K A I D. Right. Well, I'm sticking with the um, cobalt, mm. turquoise, mm. and just. I've got a bit on the edge there. So I'm just putting that over there. Maybe I'll go a bit mm. deeper there. <clears throat> Could actually sneak a little bit of green and... Oh, gosh. Hang on. Excuse me again. <laughs> a little bit of the green and the... Crimson together, just while it's damp. Put a few bits in. It's a bit too much, but not sure what's going on back there, but there's definitely a hint of misty tree stuff. Yeah, there's a, a hill behind it. Oh, my eyesight's not that good. <laughs> no, I, I only know from experience. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, it's sort of... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what it... What I always... When I'm doing this sort of thing, I look at it and I think, oh, no. 
it um the pencil lines put me off mm-hmm. funny isn't it they look they form even though I've, they're not heavy they f- they f- they detract from what i've painted do you think oh. do you rub them out afterwards yeah of course yeah yeah absolutely um what was i going to do there um yeah a little bit of the i've made it wet so i'm just dropping some of the turquoise if i can get some they're sort of stones uh yeah it's a bit of it's lots of ruins of um, yeah, a bit of rooms. Trouble is being, a, place. being an old wurzel, every time I see <laughs> old stones, I, even Corf Castle, I, in my mind, Stonehenge turns up, you know? Oh, right. <laughs> it's just because we were there. I'm just to drop in some burnt sienna on top of the the blue, oops, I mix up another deep grey colour with my trusty normal burnt amber and blue mm. and drop mm. some of those in there as well. But it's damp, so I'm hoping that, well, I'm, I'm pretty confident the water's going to do a few magic tricks. Mm-hmm. Is that there? I'm back. I'm back, <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Mm. These water tablets are hopeless. <laughs> mm. Not fun. No, it isn't. What is that there? I can't see what you're painting. Well, uh, oh, it's the, it's the building, is it? Yeah. In the picture, yeah. So I got. Oh. I've <laughs> just put. I've just put a little bit of doodah on the sky. Yeah, I saw that. A little bit of per, um, permanent rose or whatever that colour is in that part of the palette now. Yeah. Crimsony rose colour. I've mixed up a little bit of burnt umber and blue. Just add a couple of extra doodads there and there and dropped it in on there because it was wet. I made it wet and uh, used a bit of the crimson. Oops, not that much. And dropped that in. Don't know why. Give it a nice sort of. I don't. I just like that blue sheen that it gives in the background. It's lovely. What blue is that? That cobalt blue. Hmm. Yeah, I'll show you. Look. Um, get a, I think that? that's the blue I've got. Because I put all my colours in the palette like you've got, and I still cut them, and I think, oh, I don't know which one is which now. Yeah, all, <laughs> all I did I was... I can with my colours. If I do it there, watch. All right, I, I'm watching. <laughs> same. All I, did, all I did is made it wet. That's a bit mm-hmm. much there. Then took some of that blue and dropped it in the wet. Mm-hmm. Like so, right. then take me clean that off, and got some burnt sienna, just a tad of that, and you can drop that in. Mm-hmm. Should go a bit grayer than that, really, but don't know why. And then this color was just the blue and burnt amber, gives you that really nice dark. Mm-hmm grey colour and drop that in as well mm. and that just you get a sort of a a nice little mm. blend of mm. colours actually looking at that I could do with a little hint, hint more of raw sienna in there mm. anyway. 
It's a really good technique, that. Yeah. It's getting the colours right, isn't it? It's never more than two or three. Um, I think the greens are quite hard, aren't they? To get greens. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Don't start me on green. It's a one of those things, isn't it? Green. I think it's trying to get a variety, isn't it? You know, yeah. the different yeah, all the I, different shades. Mm. Yeah. Well, we'll 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 do a bit of green in a minute if you like. Uh, mm. Or I think what I might do, I've painted in, well, it's painted, I've sketched <laughs> um, a couple of, put a bit of green in that, go for a really dark green. So that's, that was the blue and burnt umber and I've just dropped a bit of mm. green into it to make it really dark. So when I've got that mixed up. Just for, um, <gasps> soaking wet. Mm. It's just yeah. all right. I just it's all wet. Now. It's, it's a bit too wet too. Just don't yeah. tango. Don't don't worry. No, not. it'll just spread and go mad. I'll use the hairdryer in a sec. Just add a few more bonds to this weepy word thing. Darken it up. Remember what we said the other day? Trees aren't brown. Trun mm. Tree trunks aren't brown. So that was burnt amber, blue, and, yeah. then, and then a bit of ordinary green. That gives you a really dark... Right. Um, Write that down because I forget what you say. Colour to play with. You can use it on buildings, look. It's a dark shadow colour. Mm. If you want to... Because we're not... We should just say it's moths if anybody says, yeah, that building's got a bit green. Yeah, it's the moths, mate. <laughs> I've got that growing out in the gutters. Mm. Somebody pointed out there, what's that growing in your gutter? <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind that. I'll put it in the compost or good mm. in a hanging basket, isn't it? Yes, that's what I was going to say. Moss. Well, plastic with holes in plastic bag with holes in. Any moss you can find mm. lying around, bung it in there. It's only to. Keeps the water in, doesn't it? Yeah, keep it moist. Moist. You could just use bits of wood to do that. Bark. I've mm. been using um, horse manure. Mm. Uh, somebody, um, my gardener. That's faded back quite nice now, dry back. That's what mm. I was saying the other week. Um, the remarkable thing about um, it's not highlighted enough, really, or mentioned often enough with watercolour is how it changes when it dries mm. back. And it's like, crack it's a different picture. I didn't, to what mm. I painted, you know. So if I can, let's see if this tree's going. All I'm doing is making a, a few lines to this. So I know roughly where the flipping things are. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think I'll just dry the sky off with the hairdryer. Definitely a Dave Harvey. Mm. Looking at it. Mm -hmm. I've noticed the more, the more I, I keep saying it, and I will re keep repeating it. No matter how I try to change the picture, to a different style or a different technique, it still turns out the same. It's funny that, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, sure. Dry the sky off in there.
sura misalnya so mm-hmm. well i'll just carry on with this theme of story i believe for a minute i might add a bit more burnt umber to that and some water mm. the okodo man's been and gone oh it's okodo today wow got plenty of food now <laughs> oh, i'm all right i've got tuna in the tuna for lunch mm. mel's been mel's tommy's been playing up the last oh. few days or so So she didn't want the the cod that we had for for dinner. So she had some tuna. I said, I don't know what's. She just couldn't work out what, why her tummy's been so tender and that. Mm. So chances are, it's you've lifted something and not realised it. And she sort of went, oh, it's a, that eureka moment. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a dog, isn't it? She'd been, because I was, because oh. well, I was um, taking time off in bed with man lurgy. She's, um, oh, she's been, doing been walking more. the dog. And of course, when he pulls, if you're not used to it or even if yeah. you are used to it, it catches you yeah. unawares. Yeah, it does. Next thing you know, you've got a flipping hernia. <laughs> or something <laughs> like that. So I'm just a few pencil lines, a few pencil lines, thin lines, just to see what happens, really. On my Facebook page, do they put little videos on yours? Anyway, I tap this little video. There's this dog laying on the floor and this man putting all this clothing on him. Yeah. And he had a... Had a little seat in the front of his um, motorbike. Had a little helmet on. The dog did. <laughs> oh, they Get loads of those, don't you? Right. Yeah, I love I can't it. Make up my, Lovely the doggy ones. Make up my mind what to do about the um, the water. So bear with me. I'm just going to copy um, what I did on the sky. We could have an early, early lunch here, Carol. Ooh, yeah, that'd be all right. I take me all afternoon to draw that out. <laughs> it did take me a while. Mm. I sat down. Um, like, I'll do it well today. I, I sat down in front of the um the Picture. computer. I've got this dark colour here as well, so I can drop that in. Mm. Might have to mix a bit more of that. Looks nice on that paper because it's not covering it all, is it? You know what I mean? Mm. <laughs> Let's see that. Anyway, so it's, it's um, that viridian green is really f- oh. intense. Hooker's green or viridian green, they're, they're a lethal combination. <laughs> But if you add, as soon as you add a little bit of yellow or a little bit of blue to it, changes it. Mm. it you get such an interesting, uh, such an interesting um, combination. That's a bit too green. So, what did I say the other week? If you wanted to make it tone it down really dark, add a little bit of alzheimer and crimson to it. I'll put that down a minute so I'll, if I can concentrate a little bit better. See what I mean? As soon as you put the. Mm. But if you just. Um, it's darker over this side, actually. Got that wrong. <laughs> if you just go whoosh, you'll get a nice um, mm. <laughs> dry. Dry line. Did you wet that? I can't remember. No, I didn't. No. Didn't. No. Right. No, I haven't touched it with um, 
Just a wet just, brush. Just, I just went straight on, yeah, with the with the brush. You make it look so easy. Mm. When I do these things, I think, oh, my God, that's gone wrong. <laughs> Once you get the rigor involved. And there's some, mm. just go up and down. What I did, I put three pencil lines, so I've tried to say... Oh, that's so good, yeah. There's the, where the water is sort of tumbling down. Might need to add a bit more blue into that. It's good. Don't mix it like Dulux. Oops, that was, <laughs> that was green. Just, <laughs> just sort of feather, just wiggle bits of paint in there. And somewhere around the edge or somewhere within it, you'll get mm. the colour that you want that that's handy. It was nearly said the colour that you want because there isn't a specific yeah. colour that you're after. You're just trying to... Um, get a few you don't want a, a specific color you want a variations of the shade of the color that you're working with you know you know that oh. it's a dark green oh i see that's a little water i didn't notice that oh gosh hang on it's my care and excuse me again yeah it's sort of a little waterfall thing isn't it mm. so if you can get a Little bit of that in. It's quite nice. It was always going to be the the, uh, the hard bit, wasn't it? Oh, absolutely. To play with. And trying to add once you start with the regular there, look, you just keep going, don't you? Well, I do. Because mm. <laughs> I think, effect, I think effect, sorry, sorry, sorry. No, carry on. No, it's just that I'm effectively drawing with the brush. Right, I'm with back. The, using the effectively using the rigger as a pencil. Mm -hmm. Do that a lot. Once it's that's what I say. Once you mm. get the flipping thing in your hand. Mm. Yeah, it looks so but nice. Going back to what we were saying last week, I've I I started to think about what I, what I was what I do, and I, and it is true what I said that what I, I very often do. I don't know if it's the water, is I'll put a layer of colour on like that, and then dip the brush in clean water, and mm. just smooth smooth it out that down and see what yeah i seem to be thinking about it well i don't like you don't like to analyze it because it spoils it or you, if you start thinking it's like all things like that and if you start thinking about it it mucks you up yeah. um, i just wish i could do a painting without mucking something up but hey ho <laughs> i think we're all in that in that category. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, that's all right then. I thought it was just me. Yeah, no, 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 no. No, no we're, all, we're all stuck on that one. The worst thing is when you get near the end of what you're doing mm. and then you mess it up. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like I did with the plate and I think, oh, God, what do I do now? <laughs> oh. Well, whatever you did was okay. Oh, all right. <laughs> I think you always criticise your own work anyway, don't you? You do. I, th I think we're you only do. critical, yeah. And I think, oh, it's not very yeah. good. Everyone's their own best critic, there's no doubt about mm. that. Mm -hmm. Well, that's lovely, that water. Mm. Well, I think you have to start thinking, hang on, it's a watercolour, be careful. Yeah. It's not an oil painting. I must admit, we haven't done the um, doodah yet. What's that? <laughs> What's the doodah? What's the name? Yeah. Have a bit, I'm, I, I'm bored with that. I'm going to have a bit of fun now. 
Of your fan brush. Yeah, you guessed it. Oh. <laughs> but mine never works out right. I don't go like yours. Okay. Mine never works out either, even though I'm just sticking with. Now. Yeah, perhaps your brush is. Burnt sienna. Your, she's older and they part more. <laughs> and a little bit of. Mm. Um, Crimsony red, because this this thing has printed it out in such a way. Yeah, what was that burnt sienna? Burnt. It was a bit say? of. It was just crimson and burnt sienna. It oh, a lot wow. depends on right, the paint sense. that you use. Yeah, because every paint. Using. Yeah, because they're different shades, aren't they? Yes, yeah, some of them. I think I don't know. I don't. I'm not Terry Harrison. There is, there is brushes. You have to sort of. You're take... seen to part. Not, oh, I get big clumps of. Well, paint. I am. Yeah, look. If you're yeah. in doubt, if you if you're not sure, then smash it. Right. Yeah. Smash. <laughs> Sounds brutal, right. but smash the, the brush. Sorry. Yeah. On its thing. We can go right the way down. I'm trying to pick out individual trees, but it's such Odd, a, isn't it? It's, it is on this on this image. Because there is they're all I don't you don't want them to be like that, do you? Terry does it, he very often says, push it, push it in like like that. Mm -hmm. and, then, uh, and drag it down. Um but I, th I think he'd be up there smiling now because he's probably thinking, nah, just work it out yourself. Just do it. <laughs> just just oh. work, out, work it out. But the theme is that green, which is really bad. <laughs> Viridian and I think it's Viridian and Hooker's green stuck mashed together in there. I mean, you've got you different, different colours. Oh, yeah, that one's not too As soon as you add a bit of burnt umber and blue to it, you'll get the, the richness. But before I do that, unfortunate, it's almost like ink, the way this is coming off. See how dark that is? That's the color. Mm. Fortunate in that I've got two of these fan brushes. They're not the same. One's, one's called a Oh, maybe the other thing. One's a fan stippler small, and the other one's a Van Gogh, a Van Gogh small. Mm. Oh. The only reason I wanted to use the other one, because it gives me the option of changing the colour. Okay. I think a bit of um, raw sienna underneath what I'm about to, before I go mad, with the um, the real dark colour, you just got pink trees and build it up, haven't you? Mm. It doesn't I've hurt to leave a little. On this. <laughs> doesn't doesn't hurt to leave a little bit of. Um, Is that all one paint? tree? Jeez, isn't it? Is that all wow. one tree? I'm looking on my picture. It looks like it. Well, I'm, one I'm, I'm, oh, I see. I, You've I'm done... thinking of it as two actually. Yeah, because that's how I've seen I'm it just now. Just thinking, there's one at the side of that. Yeah. Yeah, the one I'm doing now, but I'm just thinking I want to put. Um, see, I drew his trunk a while back with the dark green, or what I thought was a trunk. Now I'm just putting in a bit. Of, if you like, it's an under. Under painting of. Um, Oops. Raw sienna. It's like a this. It's got mm. like a a, a hedge. Um, what do you call it? A hedgerow type affair that comes a bank, isn't it? That comes down. Yeah, I can see that. Along there. And then, because I've got the other brush, let's have a look at this. See how dangerous this colour is going to look. Yeah, sort of green and then we're just gonna uh, see it's a bit too i want more 
burnt amber in it, I think. Make it more... Well, it could be bright, I suppose. And here we go. Have fun. Dave, I'm going to have to disappear. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. So, um, look forward the... to the rest of it at some yeah. point soon. Have a good week. Yeah. And Carol, yeah. take care. We're still yeah, recording. And you. So. Yeah, okay then. Right. Take care. See, see you next time. Bye. Yeah, okay. Bye. 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 Cheers, Joyce. Gosh, it's pouring with rain here. Raining? Mm. Oh, wow. Great. I'm really chuffed about that. <laughs> You'll probably get it soon. <laughs> yeah, that's what I say. It's heading this yeah. way. I don't mind. I like it. I'm a gardener now. Oh. Us gardeners like a bit of rain. Yeah. I say, if you, once you start, Keep going. Mm. The other side's harder because you've got more colours in that, haven't you? The greens yeah. and a bit of um, light colours. Yeah. I'm going to make this tree a bit lighter for a minute. Just change the... Change... I mean, if you, to me, if you, if you can, mm. just change the, for the, for the next tree, or if it, add a different green. Mm. I don't know what the, no one, at some point, I think there's. Because there's a little path there, isn't there, under those there is, trees? Yeah. yeah. That you're gonna to have to try and pick out, but at some point in your artistic um, <laughs> career, you're gonna to have to confront them. Yeah, trees because they're everywhere. You can't, you can't, can't not avoid not do them. them. So, you might as well get stuck in at some. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, I've made that green light. Now I've got to make it dark. go back to a dark. But all I'm doing is adding. If you, it's the colours really, isn't it? it oh. And if you, you've got that bright green, viridian, viridian type green. If yeah, you want to make it that. any green, if you want to make it really dark, add some of that um, carmine, Algerian crimson. Right. Rose madder to it. That's what Look, saying. it just changes. It goes worse. Yes. And while it's damp, just put some paint mm. on and let it do its biz. Especially if you get that mm. lovely dark like that. Can you hear the rain or not? No. No, probably because I've got my ears. I'm hoping I'll be able to see it in a minute. But you notice, add more blue to it and make it even darker. Right. I think this is what I get in a mess with mixing the colours. I was going to say, it is quite um, time consuming, a, a little bit therapeutic. Mm. And I'll have, well, as I say, if you can leave a few. Air what? holes, bird yeah. holes, bird holes. What That's what hole? um he used to say. That. Oh, Brian Thatcher. He was a nice, good artist of this. I hope mm. he's still alive. He lives up in Watford. Used so most the artists do do trees this way, do they? With the fan brush and well, yeah, yeah. it's not yeah. too bad. Oh, good. Can always add add more information at some point well, and leave well alone why it's working <laughs> well just put your brush up through stick a yeah. few sticks in add a little bit of extra dark to it once you get that rigor you can easily mm. put in a few branches especially where the um 
the bird owls are. <laughs> and uh, you have to use your um, sort of imagination. Imagination, really. yeah. Use a bit of license. But it's so dark under here that it just goes right right across, doesn't it? Mm. You can hardly see the yeah the um bank. It's almost like it goes right down down to the water. Yeah, a bit more green in it now. I've added so much um brown. It's quite dark along the bottom of the bank, isn't it? So yeah, it's one of those, those those views that you you look at when you're out and you think, "Cool, oh, blimey, look how dark that is," mm -hmm. and it's good fun. So say, um, whether I'll retain that path, I don't. I don't know really. Summit's going out. Optional. <laughs> yeah, so summit's going to have to go. Yeah. And then it's just a matter of tightening up. As I say, it's not going to be a, it's not a five minute painting, this. Gosh, no. So I'm just looking at this, um, the building, that's got brownie bits in it, hasn't it? I haven't finished yet. I haven't even yeah, started on that. Oh, I haven't started on that yet. Oh gosh! <laughs> While I've got the the brushes in, I'm just going to carry on with the um. But that's what I've done that side. I'm now going to just carry on with the other side. It's a bit of crimsony colour. Just dab some of that up. I don't think that one goes so wild, does it? So high, I mean. Mm. I wanted, I'm just going to put a few. It's a sort of a yellowy. Um, Alzerian crimson rosy colour. Mm. So just popping in. And just smidge it in for a minute make it a bit lighter this side shall we yeah you've got lots of light bits haven't you that little tree at the front dark and then you've got the light willow yeah well i'm gonna pop that there next i wipe the brush off see those trees are drying off quite nice yeah there. they look nice <clears throat> Should be all right. Let's um, I'll use my clean this brush off a bit and drop a little bit of mm. wool sienna. I've got some yellow here, <gasps> it's a sort of a golden, mm. summery yellow. I don't think we've got that. It's really strong, isn't it? Mm. What's this for the willow tree? Yeah, I thought we'll have a bit of fun here. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll knock some of the paint off. And just go for it. Mm. Knocked a bit too much of it off, actually. It's uh... Stronger than it looks, this willow tree. Just using the fan brush. Mm. Just curve it round. You can see why I put those. Oh, yeah. The those twigs, lines so, at the front. Yeah. I uh, put the little branches in at the start. Keep going. If you feel 
you know, was sometimes the they work better on their side. Yeah. You can get some different effects. Okay, it's right down, doesn't it? But I've got the, I need to mix up a bit of green there. Let's put a more, bit more of the yellow. You didn't wet that, did you? First? No. Oh. no. No, I didn't. I'm just going to try and drop some green. extra green. You will, you'll know when the when you do it, you'll feel the brush. Because what you want is some, if you want it to go like that, so if you get lots of lines. Yeah. And as you do it really light, they'll turn up. Mm. Almost hardly touch the paper. Right. But again, I think a few bird holes help. Yeah, it looks more realistic then, doesn't it? <clears throat> yeah. But I did notice I was mucking about with, with it the other day. Oops, I could do have been almost meat yellow, that. <laughs> and so. push it back up, oh, it makes it go like, because um, at the end of the day, there are leaves on it, it's not just straight no, it's lines, not. so <clears throat> if you can, just smash, again, it's the, smashing the brush, mm. dropping in, now it's wet, Carol, All right. it wasn't wet before, but now no, it's, it's running, oh. well, because I've put a load of paint on it, so we can sort of oh. go for it. It's not too Excuse bad. Give me though. a minute. Nearly there. No, it's not far off a willow. We know it's a willow tree. That'll do. And still got some local colour. So I'm going to just go in on these ones. Right. Just sort of a background tree, that isn't looks, it? That looks nice, looks good. I'll have a practice of these on a bit of paper first. <coughs> it's darker than you think, than it looks. The um the, the trees in the this wood background. Yeah. There's more, more going on than it. Yeah, there's a lot going on when you really look at it, isn't there? Gosh. Yeah. Try and frame the picture a bit. One thing, I need a bit more blue there. Try and push back at the moment. I'm pushing back into the willow. Well, right. I'm just going to go downstairs now. Peter's coming in. It's okay, right. I'll, I'll carry on waffling. Yeah, you carry on. You're right. Yeah. I'll just go downstairs. Right. Okay. Just go whoosh, 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 whoosh. Try All right. <laughs> I don't know what it looks like from a distance. Oh, it looks good. Oh, gosh. Right. I'm going to stick a... I've got this big blob of yellow here, so... Got to be used up. So I'm going to put this tree here, which is a sort of pointy one. So I just oh, use yeah. the edge of the, edge of the, the fan brush. Form a point. And the one behind it should have done that first, really. Make it a bit darker. Haven't done the building yet. Still got that to go. Yeah. Let's see. Which is... Did you go over that 
building with the pink. I am in a minute. No, have oh. you done that? It looks a bit pinky from here. That's you the. Have you done that? Yeah, when you took put that. Water, that's the sky. Right? Did you go over the building though? Not yet. Oh, must be my eyes then. <laughs> I will do in a minute. Yeah. Oh gosh, that looks lovely. Once you get a nice colour on on the on the brush, I'm always saying this. Keep going, yeah. and it's got a nice feel to it. Don't stop. One thing I'm I'm need to do wipe it off, clean it off, get a bit of the yellowy colour, a really nice yellowy green, and I want it. Mm. on the bank just here just flick it there you go mm. see what I mean once you get a nice okay. colour on pop it around a few places it's balanced it's so I think it's too much on isn't it <laughs> yeah balance is the okay you know what I mean by that is if it's if you put a colour on one part, you'll find that you need to put it on another part to balance balance yeah. things up. You can actually scumble that. I think. Mm. Hey, what? It's not a bad result. No, it's really really? Nice. Lovely. Like the water. Sets the scene. Now the next the big things oh. might might spoil the whole whole doodle. I don't know. Depends on this colour of this water. So clean water mm. all over the whole of the building. Well, I haven't really got clean water, but yeah, know what you mean. Ditch water. Uh, more ditch water, I think. And while it's damp, burnt sienna. Just try a bit on that. Yeah, it's okay. Gotta wash it with this mm. brush because it does. Um, mm. Hold so much more paint than a normal brush. Oh, and know. that blue that we we're talking about. Oh, I'm going to drop that in. Perhaps a bit more of it, actually. I'm not going to be yeah. shy. Yeah. Get a load of it. Ooh. Drop it in. To me castle. Yeah. And then drops. Burnt sienna. Because I've already put in the yeah. really dark, shadowy bits. Maybe a bit, I don't know. Depends how warm you want it to be. Burnt umber and blue gives us a really dark yeah, grey that we can drop in. It was up there, wasn't it? Just drop it in, see what happens. Well, we know what will happen. Mm. Go nice. That looks good. Now it's really wet. Whack in a load of it. Oh dear, you make it look so easy. <laughs> Burnt umber, bit of blue. That gives you the really dark greys. So you can... Just drop them in again. Now it's really wet, we can drop it in. Especially over here where it's... We're at an angle, so we're pretty confident that it's going to go down. <laughs> drizzle its way down. If you feel the brush is too big, use the rigger or a smaller one, and you can tease it around a bit. It's gone a bit too damp now, I think. Mm. But um, it's going to dry back, that's the thing. Just try and pick them out. And if you're brave and daring, add some more burnt sienna. 
to the really dark. That bit's spoiled. Yeah. It's gone but I'm not deep. worried. It's almost it's got a feeling that um, sort of plain air type feel to it. Mm. Doing it because I've done it so fast that I'm not too happy with. But oh. I'll um, use a bit of tissue in a minute just to straighten that line. There's only that line. Burnt sienna warms it all up. Da, 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 da. I quite like those white bits there. Yeah, it looks good. A bit of blue over there. Ooh, gone brown. Oh dear. My blue went brown. Just drop it in. Just think the, the blue warms it, makes it look fascinating. Yeah, it looks lovely. Just straightening off. Just gonna let it. But I, like I'm always saying, it will dry off really well. In my pocket, I've got a clean, handy, handy. Oh, I like that. Nice. And today, it's not the. If it is. It's inspiration that we're after. Yeah. All right. There you go. Just tease that off. A few little bits at the bottom as well. That Oops. I just want to take a few bits of paint out. Perhaps go from the top. Got the right colour. Yeah, it looks lovely. I just wanted to. Because that bluey it. it matches all the water. It looks nice. Lovely. We'll just lift a few bits of that smudgy bit off. And there's a bit over the other edge. But if you've got the, the handy handy as it yeah. comes out of the, <laughs> the no, thing, it's got really lovely, clean, sh straight lines on it. So if you get a place like that where you think, mm, I don't know, that needs to tie, you can just put it on. Yeah. Whoosh, look at that, you've got a straight yeah. line. The same with, um, there's a bit here as well. There's a little bit just there. If you just put it on, rub your finger on it, look, it straightens it up. Worth a fiver just to suss them out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to get some handy angles. <laughs> it's just the straight edge of them. Yeah. And... Uh, um, I've got tissues, but they're all like when they're bigger. I haven't got any. I can fold it up, I suppose. Yeah, it's just something that I um. Kitchen rolls a bit too thick. That I spotted it? when I was years ago, you know. Yeah, all these little. You do, you, you're sort of working away. You think, cool. Wish I had some. Oh, is it stop recording? No. It's, oh. No, it's still going. It's All right, going, I can't even. It's I can't going see on any. and off. And there's on. red lights going on and off. No, we're okay. Oh. It's not. I think something happened on my computer and it closed. Closed it <laughs> down. On. It closed. Lost oh, my yeah. microphone. Eh? Something happened on the computer and it closed the screen. And you don't want to have to go through all this again. <laughs> huh? I said you don't want to go through all this again. <sighs> Absolutely not. Even though the second, the second picture is usually better. better than the first anyway. But 
well you know some of the pitfalls don't you see yeah that's it oh that looks really nice are you selling any of your pictures you're doing or are you not bothered? selling them hmm no, I haven't really tried. I've, I, probably like you, I've probably got, well, at least probably a hundred. <laughs> <laughs> One a week every year. Yeah. Gosh. They seem mount up, don't they? I know. I, know. I think um, this little bit in the front, what I need is a little bit of... Crimson. I, I know it's probably a misprint, but on the um, reference picture, but it actually looks quite nice. It's like a warm, mm. Mm, maybe not. Who knows? Mm, whatever. Got to be careful. Because in the day, and I've been, and I, I am guilty of it. This, it's a watercolor, and mm. if you keep adding more and more darks and yeah. stuff, you end up with something that looks starts looking like a flipping oil painting. Thank you. <laughs> Should I stop there? I think. Yeah, it looks really good. I like. That. Well, um, it's nice. Any, nice colours in. I'd it. rather it. I'd rather stop and let it, let it dry, and then add some final flourishes. Then try and put them in now, and then it spoils it. Just a little bit extra where those clouds are. Wow, I like that. You can always lift a few extra bits off with me trusted tissue. It's like a bit there, perhaps a bit there. Yeah, that would do. <laughs> that would do. Time I rub, because I can't rub the pencil lines off, off out yeah. until it's dried off. I don't know if I put a thing on it. I told you we'll have an early lunch. Yeah. And then, and then later on, we can scratch a few bits off here and there. Yeah, yeah it looks nice. Tidy that up there. Oh, well, you get an idea. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I like that. The further back you go, the better it looks. It's nice. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I thought you'd gone for a minute. <laughs> No, I just changed the microphone. Oh, right. OK. Yeah, it looks good. Right, well, we'll see what we can do. I changed my glasses back. Oh, God. I, tried to, I painted that with my reading glasses on. Well done. For a laugh. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I'm, I'm quite chuffed with that. Yeah, lovely. Do you think sometimes the quicker you do them, the better than fiddling around? Just go for you got, it. That's a good, po good point, that is. Good question. Yeah. Sometimes it's good to try that out and, you know, get on and yeah. throw caution to the wind. wind. That's it. Okie dokie then. So, are you doing anything special over the weekend? I did just say to Mel just now, when we, I came back with the dog, and I said, I don't want to go to a street party or buy anything frivolous like food and that. I said, but the 
Guernsey Post Office have issued a £10 stamp, first oh, day yeah. cover. Yeah. And I think it's about 13 quid delivered. First day cover with a, a really lovely portrait of this queen that was done in 1952. Oh, right. They've yeah. done the stamp like that. It looks really beautiful. Oh, so I, I said, that. I, might, I might get that. Yeah. To Did celebrate. I've yeah. spent some money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was going to put out some bunting with Union Jacks on, but I'm not sure, but I think I've thrown it away. Oh, gosh. I'll have a look, but I'm pretty, might still, if it does, I'll put it along the trellis at the front. Yeah, that look nice, won't it? <laughs> yeah. Oh well, I don't think I don't know whether the weather's going to be that brilliant, is it? It's still raining here. Have you got the rain yet? No. Nope. No. Oh. And the wind's blowing this way, isn't it? I don't know which way it's going. I think I can see a couple of spots on the on the window. Nothing out. Oh yeah, the car's got some blobs oh, on well, it. Oh well, yeah. Nothing. Well, nothing so the right. Nothing that's going to make me garden grow that much. No, I know. Anyway, <laughs> oh, poor baby, someone they dying for water. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Right. Right. I'll have a go at that and see what happens. <laughs> Because you've got different colours in that. I look back at my pictures and I think, oh God, they're all the same colours, aren't they? Well, when that's what I keep saying, you know, when you, when you, if you break the trees down or the foliage into little sections, okay, don't worry if that, but try and add a different element to the colour. So the green, add a bit more yellow to yeah. the one that's closer to you or something like that. Yeah, then it doesn't yeah. all end up the same, does it? You, they uh, don't. They, you want lots of variation of greens, don't you? Yeah. There's such there's a myriad of the flipping things out there. I, well, when you look at yeah, when you look at them all, the trees they're all completely different, aren't they? Right, I better get on and um, have a good yeah. weekend, and see you next week. <laughs> Bye. Go for now. Okay. Corn sandwich or I can. Oh no, tuna. Tuna. <laughs> <laughs>